are these crafts are from a second heaven and they're 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 coming on earth and they're here for what reason what's what do you think's their agenda they are uh, inhabited by fallen angels and demons are they physical or do you think they have morphed into what these beings look like what people see if you haven't go to davidhebner.tv sign up right now because we're going to go underground. We're going to talk to L.A. Marzulli. You can ask him questions, raise your hand, make some comments. If you go to David Hebner TV, you'll find we have an original programming channel with special interview on L.A. Marzulli. He talks about UFOs and Bible prophecy. It's the interviews I've done with him. You can com catch the complete uh, package there on davidhebner.tv. The question is, these things that people are seeing, what, what say you? What are they? Unless we understand Genesis 3.15, in my opinion, we're completely, utterly clueless to understand what's going on uh, all around us and what has gone on throughout the biblical narrative. And Genesis 3.15 talks about the seed war, that the seed of a dragon will be at war at enmity with the seed or offspring of the woman. The offspring of the woman will crush the dragon's head. That is Jesus. That's the Proto-Evangelium. That's the first, the first term or first the first time we hear the good news is the first prophecy in the Bible talking about that seed offspring of the woman coming forth and crushing a dragon's head. But it says the offspring of the dragon, the seed of the dragon will be at enmity. So it's all about procreation and a seed war. Um, most people have never heard that. The churches, for the most part, don't teach it. And so when we get to things like um, passages like the Tower of or Genesis 6, we're the Nephilim on the earth, and then the flood ensues to wipe them all out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, I thought God was a loving God. Why does he wipe out the whole planet? Because the Nephilim are here. Because they've been here for 40 years, and only eight people were saved who were, it says in the text, were pure in all their generations. So Noah's pure in all his generations. Something is going on. It's there. But unfortunately, because the church, for the most part, has adopted the goofy Sethite theory, which tries to explain, well, the sons of God are the sons of Seth, and you know, the daughters of, of, of men are really the hoochie mamas of Cain, but that's not what the text says. They just insert that, and it has nothing to do with anything, and then they, they go off. And so, no, 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 angels can't have sex. Nowhere does it say that. It yeah, says, but, like the angels, not given in marriage. Um, so, it, it, the, the things people are spotting, these UFOs, okay, uh, uh, Sightings 101, these are demonic beings, correct? This is where it gets very complex. I would say okay. for the most part what we're looking at is uh, and are, these crafts are from a second heaven. They are um, inhabited by fallen angels and demons. That's what, that's what we're looking at. But uh, okay, it's more complicated than that, but let's just leave yeah, it. Yeah. That's the base. Okay. Are they physical and they're inhabited by these demon by these spirits, or do you think they have morphed into what these beings look like, what people see? No, they, they are, in my opinion, they are absolutely uh, inhabited by these entities, um, along okay. with the phrase. And uh, yeah, they. They do things that are that defy our physics, the way they fly in these ships. Right. So what you're talking about, this is just uh, powers. Uh, uh, we're talking about powers in the second heaven. For those Correct. of you, the third heaven is the heaven. The second heaven is where Satan and all the realm, uh, uh, you know, participate. And what you're saying is these beings come out of that second heaven. Now they're coming and they're 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 coming on Earth. And they're here for what reason? What's what do you think's their agenda, uh, LA? Uh, their main agenda? Well, the basic agenda is to create a hybrid race. That's they're mingling their seed. Second chapter of Daniel says this. This is why it's so important if we don't understand Genesis 3:15. When we get to Daniel, well, I have no idea what they're talking about. Daniel says, seal up the book. You know, the angel says to Daniel, seal up the book until the time of the end. Men and women will go to and fro over the face of the earth. Knowledge will increase. That's where we are now. But until that period of time, the book of Daniel was a sealed book. Sealed book. Now it's okay. open. So when we read chapter 2, we come to an understanding when it says their seed will mingle with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave to them. Who are they? It can't be the seed of men. 
So it only leaves one other one other choice that we have. It's either, well, actually two, tongue in cheek. It's either the Martians are doing this or it's their seed, which hells back to Genesis 3.15, Genesis 6, Sodom and Gomorrah, the conquest of Canaan. It's all throughout the biblical narrative. At the cross, boom, the power of the dragon is broken. Right. In part. And this is why Jesus has, when he opens up that seal in the book of Revelation, you know, the Lamb of God is worthy to open up that book, Un undo it, open it up, and read it. And Gary Stearman believes, as I do, that it's an indictment against planet Earth and against the fallen ones. So this is what we're up against. Wow. And it's a when you say, L.A., when you say mingle their seed, right now they're mingling their seed. How are they doing that? What, what are they mingling their seed with? Who is it with? How, how are they doing it? I just got off the phone with a woman, uh, very unnerving interview, uh, lifelong abductee, abducted many times until she became a strong born again Christian. And then she broke it. And that's what we hear over and over again. There is a way out. When, when a person calls upon the name of Jesus in that realm, in that, look, we, how many times have we heard where they're, you're about to have a car wreck and someone goes, Jesus help. And all of a sudden, they go through the other car, and they're down the road. How did that happen? So yeah. we know miracles happen. We know right. sometimes they don't. Tim Alberino would say, well, you know, the other side of that is all the Christians that are being beheaded, and they're on their knees uh, on the shores of the Mediterranean, and they're they're praying to Jesus, and nothing ha happens. There is no angel which parts the sky. I get that. It's complex. But it seems like with the abduction phenomenon, when people call out to the Lord, that are that are they stop it they stop the abduction um listen we have the new end times dvd um it's uh i investigates uh end times investigation i have a lot of my friends on here uh lisa haven michael lake uh, I, I have josh peck la marzuli uh stephen bancrofts i mean eight hours of of me investigating things like Satanism, demonic powers, Illuminati, New World Order, Antichrist, One World Religion, End Times, Miracles, Bible Prophecy. Folks, let me tell you something. One day, what you're watching us on right now, it's called, well, it's called television, it's called social media, it's called the internet. They're gonna turn that baby off. You need a hard asset. When all this stuff gets shut off, this is what what you're going to be able to, to learn from and to understand. So I want you to uh, text the word CHOSEN to 91999 or go to davidhevener.tv forward slash order or call 844-806-0006. Everybody, David back with you. Hey, um, the brand new DVD uh, of Last Evangelist, you can get it right now. Uh, it's limited collector's edition. It's got the new episode on it, along with band videos with me and Michael Lake and Lisa Havens, uh, Sh Sheila Lazinski. Also, if you want to see Last Evangelist, the uh, episode, it's ex exclusively episode one on davidhevener.tv.